If you understand this one simple concept, you'll turn loneliness into a blessing that will completely change your life. By the way, most of you guys aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button, it's free to do so. Now, if we take a look at this graph, these are the insights the American Time Use Survey shows that we'll be spending more and more time alone as we get older. And the crazy fact is that we don't really have to use the graph or anything. Young adults or even teenagers are spending most of their time alone. And when those people are alone, they try everything to pass the time by occupying themselves with their phone all the time. Scrolling through TikTok and spending hours trying to find the perfect porn video for them to get off. Now, truth be told, I just went through a breakup from a three-year relationship. Although it really sucks, it made me feel very lonely. But as time passed by, I slowly realized that being alone is actually a blessing. A lot of people say that they're alone, but there is a huge difference between being alone and actually feeling lonely. If a man is lonely, he thinks that he is need to be fulfilled by materialistic things. Get a hot girlfriend, drive that car, etc. They put every single effort to pursue all these things in order to fill themselves internally. They do all of those things in order to solve that loneliness or to fill their empty holes in their heart. They thought that once I get a loving girlfriend that will love me in any condition that I'm in, my life will be settled. Or once I get this car or once I get this mansion, whatever materialistic thing that you think to possess, you think that your life will be fulfilled, right? Look, I've had a girlfriend for three years and I've bought a house and let me tell you this. And trust me, once you get these things, your life will be more challenged than ever. It's not that you will argue with your girlfriend every single day or she has a lot of red flags or stuff like that but again you will be challenged more than ever in order to stay at your best when i say stay at your best it's not just temporary you have to do this all the time just to keep those things because all of those things that you thought that you want to possess cars hot girlfriend houses etc all of those things are challenges and you will definitely not attract those things when you are not fulfilled internally even let's just say you manage to get all those things you're either going to attract a low value partner or it's just a matter of time before you start to lose all of it. The only way to attract those things is to be fulfilled internally, to enjoy your very own company and to sit with your own thoughts. I found this one amazing quote from a physicist named Blaise Pascal. He quoted, all of humanity's problem stem from a man's inability to sit quietly in a room alone. So whether you're single, whether you're living abroad or away from your family, there is no better time than to build now, especially if you're under 30 years old. This is contradicting to some people because you've heard YouTubers saying, go out there, date as many women as possible, make memories, love, learn, party, etc. Sure, it does sound like fun, but what if, what if, what if you sacrifice 10 years of your time from the ages of 20 to 30 or maybe you're 17 years old right now watching this video 17 to 27 in exchange for 50 years of pleasure by simply removing all the noise and the distraction the time and the attention that you have to give to your girlfriend the money that you have to spend for traveling with your friends partying with your friends every weekend and all that look i'm not against getting into a relationship or traveling with your friends every year but when you're alone it's time to build your finances, your mental health, work on your body, work on that business, build relationship with yourself and God or whatever religion that you currently believe in. Be the best version of yourself. And once you've elevated yourself and become the best version of yourself, man, I'm telling you the, the relationship, the money and everything that you want in the first place, they will come to you instead, bro. You can call me the, the red pill guy, whatever that is, right? I don't personally care. But if you want to hold a higher value for yourself, you don't chase, you attract. You don't chase butterflies by going to the garden, running and finding butterflies and getting that net to catch them. But you know what you should do. You build a garden, you water the flowers, you take your time and the patience, the consistency into making sure the flowers is in the best condition. And then eventually, the butterflies will come to you. Again, this is a sign to build yourself. Build yourself until you're ready for the next challenge. Build yourself until you're ready to handle the feminine energy that your next girlfriend will challenge you. Build yourself until you're stable enough to pay for your supercar for your mansion's mortgages. Build yourself until you're stable enough to handle all the stress and the pressure of making a million dollars a year or even becoming a multimillionaire in the future. You will be that person if you really utilize the time of being alone right now. But of course, being alone doesn't necessarily mean that you will succeed, right? I mean, what's the point of being alone, having all this time for yourself, but you're scrolling mindlessly on social media? You're watching this video and then after that, you're, you're doing nothing. And you're constantly filling up with your dopamine by watching porn, hoping one day that your life will change. By the way, if you want to quit porn, buy my ebook. <laughs> That's why I put it up here. It's in the uh, description below. All right, so back to the topic. 
you're alone and you wanted to make the best out of it. Use all this free time to get to know yourself a little better. Find out your own boundaries that has been creating all these limiting beliefs. Those things aren't really easy to deal with. But if you want to go through life, you have to first go through uncomfortable events. Remember this, the person that you will spend the most time with is yourself. But yet, we're taking it for granted. So embrace self-discipline, find your very own limit and then break it, go much further than that. Set goals and then be very obsessed with your goals, immerse yourself into these goals. Now, if you wanna be unrecognizable this 2024, you can watch this video over here. And uh, remember, if you go easy in life, then life be hard. But if you go hard in life, then life be easy. Find comfort and discomfort. See you in the next video. Cheers.